William Randolph Hearst called it the American version of paradise. What do you think he was referring to? His life's passion, the Hearst Castle. We all know that William Randolph Hearst was a giant in a massive media empire with his newspapers, magazines, movie production, and radio. While Hearst was building a media empire, he was also simultaneously fulfilling a longtime passion by creating a castle in San Simeon, California. The castle project started in around 1919, and for the following 32 years, William Randolph Hearst worked on the Hearst Castle, transporting authentic, priceless artifacts from around the world to be touchable and just a part of the day-to-day -day enjoyment at the castle. Hearst designed and built a towering 115-room castle cathedral, the main house called the Casa Grande. In addition, three guest villas with 46 rooms and eye-catching Spanish and Italian gardens on the entire estate, not to mention a large free-roaming zoo on his property. Now it's your turn to just try to imagine what it must have been like back in 1925 and through the next decades to be invited to Hearst Ranch, as he called it. San Simeon is at least a half day journey from Los Angeles or San Francisco. So back in those days, you stayed to party all weekend once you arrived. Hearst's wife, Millicent Hearst, remained in New York City and Long Island. And though they never divorced, she did not go back to the castle after 1925. Instead, William Randolph Hearst and Marion Davies were the hosts for all who arrived at the ranch. This was definitely a time in Hollywood where you were nobody if you weren't invited to the Hearst Castle. Hearst Castle was really isolated at the time, up in the central California hillsides. After a long journey up the hillside, guests at the Hearst Castle kept very busy dining, dancing, horseback riding, sunbathing, swimming, playing tennis, billiards, that is when they weren't drinking and gossiping. A few Hollywood personalities that were regulars included Clark Gable, King Vidor and Eleanor Boardman, his wife, Charlie Chaplin, Joan Crawford, and many others. World leaders such as ex-president Calvin Coolidge, Winston Churchill, George Bernard Shaw, Charles Lindbergh, and Amelia Earhart. With such an outstanding collection of personalities, wouldn't it have been fun to have been able to be at the ranch table? Following William Randolph Hearst's death in 1951, Amazingly, the art furnishings and flavor of being at the Hearst Castle is being preserved by the state of California. Making it a state park in 1958 and offering tours featuring the castle rooms, the pools, gardens, and main halls. Fortunately, USA Golf and Travel did visit the Hearst Castle when we were reporting on the California Central Coast Golf Trail. Here's our video from that trip. Watch. Hearst Castle, the only building that you can see for miles around. The seemingly endless acres of beautiful rolling hills along the exclusive Central California Pacific Ocean coastline appear today as they did back in 1947 when William Randolph Hearst fulfilled his vision of building a castle perched on top of these privately owned mountains, known to us today as the Hearst Castle. In his day, Hearst entertained a select list of dignitary figures and notables from entertainment, literary, and political sectors to his world-renowned retreat by invitation-only stay at the castle. Tourists today can totally experience what it must have been like to be one of those chosen few back then largely because it remains as Hearst designed it, decorated and left it, with many of the original features, art, furniture, and privacy of its glory days.
Augustus, Carnegie was known for steel. Rockefeller was known for oil. Morgan was known for banking. Hearst was known for media. A time in American history when America was growing. Hearst Castle is an historic snapshot of a time and lifestyle. A time to remember. And as William Randolph Hearst said in his own words, it was an American version of paradise. Join us again next time to hear another inspiring story. 